welcome back. Today we're going to use our time to build our robot. We're going to design it first in a CAD program and then we are going to use that design we have from the CAD program to lay out some components and to actually build the frame, mount the motors and mount the electronics. But we also need to get some of the components that we need to make our robot. A robot needs a computer to control the Arduino and we need two motor controllers. We've only had one for now. Then we also need a gyro in order to balance the robot. And we need uh, some power. And um, for the power, I've chosen to just use some power tool batteries. They, um, uh, it's smart because I can uh, 3D print an attachment so that I can click them on and click them off quickly on the robot. I can quickly put them in the charger and recharge them and click them back on the robot. And um, so I've decided to use those. Um, as a voltage regulator, I've bought a couple of these. The uh, They are um, uh, 5 volts, 3 amp uh, power regulators. The motor controller actually has a 5 volt regulator uh, on it. So when you attach the power source to the motor controller, you actually have 5 volt there. Unfortunately, it's not powerful enough to um, supply both the computer and the Wi-Fi with power. And especially the Wi-Fi is going to be the problem. The we, computer we're going to use is going to be a uh, BeagleBone. I have decided uh, to use the BeagleBone because I can't seem to find a, a Raspberry Pi. The whole project is designed to work with a Raspberry Pi. So if you have one, you can put a drop-in replacement and just use the Raspberry Pi instead. But I can't find one. They still are not readily available. So I'm going to use the BeagleBone. Um, the BeagleBone has actually a lot of extra features that the Raspberry Pi doesn't have, but we're not going to use them. We're just going to use the BeagleBone like as if it was a Raspberry Pi. Then <clears throat> I bought this uh, gyroscope. Um, this is a cheap gyroscope that's compatible with an Arduino um, that I bought on Amazon. I've uh, also bought the Beagle board on Amazon and the power regulators on Amazon. The Beagle board only has one USB port, so we're going to use a USB hub because we need to connect a Wi-Fi dongle to the BeagleBone to get it on the internet. And we also are going to need a USB port to attach the BeagleBone to the Arduino. So how do I mount my motors if I want to mount them on something? Well, uh, I have these aluminum bars that I'm I smelted some aluminum cans and cast these bars uh, the other day and they just happen to be the uh, just about the correct size to uh, where the width of the bar matches the width of the axle that comes out of the motor. So what I'm thinking is I'll cut off the top of the bar and then I'll have like a, a thin slice of the bar and then I can cut it in half and make a groove that matches the axle for the motor and then I'll make some holes so I can mount it into it and I'll, I'll make two of them out of one bar so that's why I cut it in half I'll make a groove, I'll cut some holes, I'll plane it off and yeah uh, let's begin actually drawing our uh, our little monster here we go so this is on shape OnShape is a web-based CAD program. It works on all platforms and all your designs in the cloud, so you'll never have to worry about losing your stuff. And um, here we go.
All right, so here we are. I have drawn the robots the way I want to build it. So the frame is going to be made in wood. I bought some plastic where I'm going to mount all the electronics. I'm going to use some of the aluminum we melted the other day and cast into bars to make these. Some of the bars we made actually fit the measurement here. And um, I'm going to use those to create that. And um, I've also created a drawing of the layout. Let's just see. Load, 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 load. Here it is. Uh, this is a drawing of the layout of the board where we're going to mount the, um, uh, the electronics. So the beagle bone is going to be mounted up here. Down here we're going to have a motor controller. We're going to have another motor controller here for the left and the right wheel. Here we're going to have the Arduino and here we are going to have the gyro. And uh, then I'm, up here I'm going to place a USB hub so we can attach the beagle bone through the hub to the Arduino. And uh, we can also attach a Wi-Fi plug and other things that we might need to control with the computer. And um, I'm going to print this out on paper and I'm just going to uh, put a scotch tape, uh, double-sided scotch tape on the plastic and trans so I can easily transfer these holes onto the plastic. All right, so I have printed out the layout on a piece of paper. I am going to attach the paper to this piece of plastic I bought. Um, here we go. Um, just a piece of cheap plastic. I'm going to use this uh, scotch tape to attach it to the plate. And then I am going to drill the holes in the plastic. I've also bought a, uh, a set of these PCB plastic offset screws. So I can mount these screws into the plastic. And then I can mount the devices onto. All right, so I have drilled the hole and I have mounted all of the pieces to the plate. Um, I've also soldered some uh, wire onto the barrel jacks on the beel bone and I have uh, soldered on the voltage regulator. Unfortunately the voltage regulator doesn't have any uh, mounting holes so I suppose I can hot glue it onto something. It might get into heating issues because um, this little uh, uh, semiconductor uh, might get hot. So we'll see if that becomes a problem. Uh, so you see I have the motor controller here and here for left and right wheel. Then we have the Arduino here. Down here the gyro is mounted. As I've also uh, soldered on some wire that I have attached to the serial connection uh, ports on the Arduino. So SCL, SCA and SDA are mounted onto SCL and SDA on the gyro. And then I'm taking 3.3 volts from the Arduino and attaching that to the uh, gyro. And the gyro also needs a ground wire. And um, yeah, I've also mounted the USB hub up here with a piece of um, uh, double-sided tape. It's, it's pretty well stuck on there. And yeah, on the back of the plate, I have uh, glued a piece of uh, wood uh, on and drilled a hole uh, so I can mount it onto the robot. And you can see the holes are already there, ready to be mounted. Yeah. So I have 3D printed one of these uh, battery holders. They are designed to take batteries from a power tool, be mounted in here to the robot, and that'll make it possible to mount a battery like that onto the robot. And Let's just screw that in here. All right. 
there you go I found some scrap wood um, and cut out the pieces for the frame and screwed it together I also mounted the battery holders onto the plate the wood is just some <laughs> scrap wood we had lying around and um, yeah All right here we are we're ready to mount the plate with electronics onto the robot let's get started <laughs> Here we are. The plate is mounted onto the robot. And um, yeah, I have also drilled uh, some holes so that we can pull the wires from the motors uh, down through the bottom here up to the board. And all right, we cut off the top of the bar and can now cut it in half to get our two pieces to mount the motor all right I've cut the two pieces in half or the bar in half on the long side um, now I'm gonna dig out a track for the motor axle that has the height matching um, recess thing and the width matching the diameter of the axle. All right, I have cut out a groove in the blocks and I have added some holes so I can mount it into something. All right, we have mounted the wheels onto the robot. Um, let's... Um, Alright, so now we have the motors mounted and we have the wires ready. Should be able to ooh, barely reach the motor controllers. Oh, this one. Hmm. Did I mount this a little off? No, it should be good. Anyway, um, I'll mount it up and get back to you. Alright, here it is, almost all wired up. Uh, next time we will be looking at how to get this uh, data from the gyro into the computer through the Arduino and how do we get it to balance with the data that we get from there and yeah so stay tuned